Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have learned about the descendant selector and also the direct descendant selector. We can also say it as child selector or the direct child selector also we can say it. So whatever it may be. So in order to select a child elements, whether it may be direct child or a grandchild or something like that. So we use these all space and also the greater than operators. So we have seen the descendant directory selector. So that's it finished. Now let's go on to the little bit deeper, not little bit deeper, some of the complex selectors we will try to see. So these are the last selectors which are available in the CSS. Now if you say that, for example, say take the same example. So here I am having a do with a class of my class and inside this do we are having a paragraph element. So that means this paragraph element is a child to this my class. And now if you try to see this paragraph element is not a child, it's a sibling. Okay, it's an adjacent select. It's an adjacent element, adjacent or sibling element, which are on the same level. It's an adjacent selector. Now, what I want to do is, so whatever the adjacent selector is there, so whatever the adjacent selector is there, if it is a paragraph element, means I want to apply color red. So that means not to the inner element, not to the child element. If an adjacent select, if an adjacent element is a paragraph element. I want to apply the color red adjacent means sibling element we can also say it as sibling element or adjacent element I want to apply color of red if it is a paragraph element so now what I can do here I can say in such a way that dot my class so if you try to use space p means it will go inside the my class it will try to select the child of the my class it will try to select that the paragraph should be a child to the my class but I don't want this paragraph to be a child adjacent one so for the adjacent one we need to use plus so plus p so that means adjacent selector if a my class adjacent selector paragraph is there means for that one i want to apply color red now if you try to see here <coughs> see now we are able to apply color red to the adjacent selector so that is nothing but this element for example let's say that we are having a div element here so this is a div element so now for this my class the adjacent element is due not the paragraph element okay the adjacent element is due now what i am trying to do here for the my class adjacent if it is a paragraph element then color of red for this one for this my class the adjacent element is not a paragraph element it is a div element if you try to see here so none of the css has been applied so none of the element is there in the red color why because for this one the adjacent element is div element not the paragraph element and this one is not an adjacent element. So for example, let's say that if you try to see after this div element, we are having a paragraph element. This is not an adjacent element to this my class. Why? Because it is not preceding immediately. It is coming after the div element. So that means this is not next to the my class element. So for this one, it will not apply. <clears throat> for example, let's say that whatever the elements are there, if and whatever the elements are there, so if the my class element the adjacent to this one so that means the elements what are on the same level to this my class if that is a paragraph element means i want to apply the color rate so that means for this one the adjacent elements are due and also the paragraph element not adjacent sibling elements we can say now here we can say it as sibling elements subsequent sibling elements continuous sibling elements so for example let's say that for this one the sibling elements is due element and also a paragraph element so for example i can have another paragraph element also so now here the sibling selectors for this my class is div element, paragraph element and also the paragraph element. Now whatever the sibling selectors paragraph elements are there, I want to apply the color red. So that means for this one the siblings are two paragraph and this paragraph immediately. So these are the two sibling elements. I want to apply the color red for these two elements. So what are the next sibling elements? So for this one we use a tilt operator. Okay, the tilt operator. So this one. So tilt operator means it will try to check the all the sibling selectors. So that means adjacent selectors. So this div is a sibling selector and this paragraph is a sibling selector. These are all on the same level. It will try to take it and it will see out of these three elements, which are paragraph elements. So we are having two paragraph elements and for these two paragraph elements, it will apply the red color. If you see here, so now these two paragraph elements are having red color and this div element is not having red color. Though although it may be a sibling selector, but it is not a paragraph element. That reason we are not able to apply red color. But these two elements we are able to apply red color because these are sibling selectors. 
so if you want to apply to the continuous siblings and if you want to check for all the sibling selectors means you need to use the tilt operator so for example if you are having only only the adjacent selector immediate adjacent selector immediate sibling selector if you want to match it means we can use the plus symbol so that is the difference between the plus and the tilt operator so most of the people will be confusing between the plus and the tilt operator tilt operator will take all the sibling electra, uh, sibling selectors and he'll apply the red color whereas the plus selector it will try to take only the immediate sibling only it will check whether the immediate select immediate sibling is paragraph or not if it is not a paragraph it will not apply if it is a paragraph it will apply color red whereas the tilt operator it will take all the sibling selectors and whatever the paragraph elements are there those elements are automatically red color will be applied so this is the this is the selectors and another one what i want to do is i want to tell about the last selector is compound selector so here we are having a my class okay so my class color red and here let's say that for this div we are having my class and for this paragraph also let's say that we are having my class okay this my class is applied to the two different elements first one is the div element and the second one is the paragraph element now i am trying to tell that whatever the element whatever the element we are having with the class of my class then we should apply color of red okay whatever the element we are having so it may be a div element paragraph strong anchor link whatever the element we are having it should apply the color red if you try to see here so this these element and my class this strong element everything has been applied red color why because for this paragraph we have a class of my class and these are this is all we are having a class of my class so fine i want to be very specific into this one so i want to be more specific i want to apply in a such a way that whatever the element so that means i want to catch only the elements only the paragraph element which is having a class of my class so that means if i try to select only the paragraph element so what i will get so this paragraph and this paragraph i may be i may be able to catch it okay this paragraph and this paragraph but i want to catch only the paragraph which is having a class of my class so that is the main thing i wanted so how can i catch this one so we need to use a compound selector so here i can use p dot my class so we are telling that the paragraph element without space if you try to match it with space it will try to check the paragraph inside the paragraph any element which is having a class of my class it will try to check whether it may be a children or grandchildren whatever it may be but here i am not using a space without space i am attaching these two things and now here i can say that the paragraph element which is having a my class so the paragraph element should care should consist of a my class now i am telling that it should apply color red now it will apply only to the paragraph element only so this is paragraph having a my class of having having a my class as a class so that is the reason we are able to apply it. so this is a this is about the compound selector so this is these are all the different types of selectors available in the css so what we have learned we have learned about the universal selector so let's recap so from first onwards so we have seen about the element selector and we have seen class selector and we have seen id selector and we have seen attribute selector and we have seen grouping selector so these are all the different selectors available in the css grouping selector and next we have seen descendant selectors and we other one we, uh, other one we have seen direct descendant selectors and next we have seen adjacent selector immediate adjacent selector we can say and we have seen sibling subsequent sibling selector whatever the name we can say subsequent sibling selector and the last one we have seen it as compound selector so if i if maybe i may be missing something that is nothing but pseudo class selectors and the last one is the pseudo element selectors so these things i have mistaking i think almost all we have completed so these are all the different types of selectors which are available in the css universal selector is denoted with a star element selector is denoted with, a, with its element name class selector we will be using a special keyword that is nothing but a dot 
and here id selector we use with a hash and the attribute selector we use with the square bracket and all those things we'll try to check it and here we are having some extra one that is nothing but star and carrot symbol and also the dollar symbol so here this one will match end of the text here this one will start of the text and this one any so any place it will match it if you don't use any of these things it will use the exact match pseudo class single colon it will use pseudo element it will use double colon and grouping selectors we use it using the comma and descendant selector we use it using the space space and the another one is direct descendant selector we use it using the greater than symbol adjacent selector this is plus so immediate we will be using and here subsequent sibling selector it will select all the siblings matching dot tilt operator will use compound selector without any space so combined we use the this one these are all the different types of selectors available in the css hope you understood about these all the selectors so this is all about the ca all the selectors available in css so other than this not, none of the selectors are available so we can use these all the combination more than enough these all things in the next session we will try to learn some more concepts in the css hope you understood about the selectors concept if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you